what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 23 ultimate team video it's the final ultimate legend content drop of the mutt 23 year and these cards pretty much suck now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you are searching on youtube for mutt 23 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so if you missed the reveals for today's ultimate legends on twitter last night let's go over the cards when ea tweeted these out they also said that this would be the final ultimate legend drop of the year so the only things that we have to look forward to and that's going to be up until july 20th two more parts this coming thursday and then next thursday or the thursday after that which is july 20th we're going to have more red zone royale cards likely just 99 overalls champions on offense and defense and of course eight rookie premier cards this coming thursday and then the final eight the following thursday again one more time july 20th and then that's going to be it for month 23 content but as you can see behind me 38 days away from Madden 24. It's pretty soon. It's coming, and hopefully we get some Madden Ultimate Team news very soon. I'm expecting end of July, maybe early August, but we'll find out soon. Let's go over the cards, and we start with, I just don't know. I don't know what to say here. It's going to be Earl Campbell, and if you've been playing the game within the last month, you know Earl Campbell literally just got a 99 overall card, the last promo, and not only did he get a card, but it was way better than this one. It had 99 attributes at every possible thing that mattered for a running back this card isn't as good so I just don't know I don't know what EA was thinking I don't know if they were thinking the lack of attention to detail to give the same player two cards in a month span let it go and accept the truth that we is dumb Durham is here. I just don't know. And the ultimate Earl Campbell from the Mold Breakers promo is so much better and not overly expensive. So please, whatever you do, do not spend your Ultimate Legend tokens on this. Don't spend your coins. Don't spend anything on this card. It's not worth it. The defensive set legend is going to be Richard Seymour, a defensive tackle. Boring. I mean, yes, he probably needed an upgrade at some point this year. He also has 91 speed, you know, on July 8th. Like, come on, make the card better if anything we already got a free fletcher cox from the season five field pass so this is another unexciting card 98 block shed 99 power move 97 finesse move 99 tackle all very good but the speed and acceleration just not great on this card and then the final ltds of the year we got andre reed he's had really good cards throughout the year i think he had a legend card then a playoff card and now this one always makes a good slot receiver in my opinion good height good speed good route running across the board there this looks like a good one being that you know the game is pretty much dead and people are really spending their coins on rookie premieres i can't imagine this card's gonna be overly expensive so if you need him for theme team purposes or you just want him it's probably gonna be around 400 to 450k a pretty cheap pickup for an ltd then on defense another one that's gonna be stupid cheap it's ken norton nobody cares about middle linebackers again if you need it for a theme team you might want it but otherwise I can't see this card being over 450k either, though it is a really good one. 99 speed, block shed, power move, zone coverage, great to let the uh, AI control him, great for a user. Here are the discounted abilities. And speaking of a user, Ken Norton does have Lurker, so that's what you'd want to throw on it. Or even Lurker and Acrobat for a total of 1 AP isn't terrible on this card. And if you're going to let him roam as a AI defender, just go with like mid-zone KO or secure tackler. Uh, Richard Seymour, of course, is going to get inside stuff for 0 AP. So that's perfect. Tackle Supreme as well as good on a defensive tackle. I don't even want to really mention Earl Campbell's zero AP abilities because none of you should be using that card. It will be a waste. Go get his Mold Breakers card. And then finally, Andre Reed. Short in, short out, and route tech, all zero AP abilities. If he's going to play on the outside, go short out and maybe even deep out elite as well. And if he's going to be a slot receiver, rock short and elite on him. Now along with the final Ultimate Legend drop of the year is going to be the final set of solo challenges, which are 
still important to play, and if you've been playing them throughout the duration of this promo, you could have earned or should have earned two free 99 overall non-BND Ultimate Legends of your choice, as long as they were not LTDs. But if we look at week number 21 of the solos, it's going to feature the two set legends, Earl Campbell, Richard Seymour, three solos for each player. You beat all six of these solos, it's going to unlock a hidden seventh solo, which would appear at the bottom of this list, and beating that seventh solo, if you read the description, is going to give you here either your choice of a 93 overall version of today's LTDs. You don't want to pick that. You want to go the other route, which is five loyalty tokens, also beating the solos to get up to that seven solo. Uh, these solos right here are going to give you one milestone star each solo that you beat, and also one ultimate legend loyalty token. So you need 125 of these tokens to get a free ultimate legend, and EA did say at the beginning of this promo that you could earn up to two of these for free just by playing through the solos. They're always usually fairly easy, aside from the seventh one is a little bit time consuming it's like a, a second half of a game but you can always shoe clock and this is going to hold true for each and every week so if you haven't been playing through these make sure you get them done if you haven't redeemed your two free ultimate legends because no more of them are coming out uh this week's probably aren't worth using your tokens on also beating the solos uh every time you beat one of them you're going to get a milestone star and if you scroll through the milestone star rewards here you're going to see that every tier you get a pack that contains additional loyalty tokens every saturday when i've put out these ultimate legend videos for the last 21 weeks i've told you if you can get to the 125 mark once or twice definitely redeem them on a free ultimate legend of your choice especially because they're not bnd you can make some coin off of them if you have extra tokens now at this point these are the best sets to use them on the only sets to use them on i'd probably go with the quick sell here for five loyalty tokens you get five quick sell packs if you're trying to get coins to build rookie premieres this is probably another route that you can take to take those tokens and hopefully turn them into some good coin here. If you get the max amount, which I think is like 250,000 coins, consider yourself incredibly lucky, uh, but this is likely where I'm going to use the rest of my loyalty tokens to got, try to get some coins so we can go after more rookie premieres. I think I got like six or seven of them done, and I'm definitely going to get all 32 of them as well. Uh, so with the sets, again, you guys have been here for long enough. You should know how they work. If for whatever reason you're new here, well, welcome and thank you for watching watching uh, for these Ultimate Legend sets, and I shouldn't use Earl Campbell as an example because I absolutely do not want you doing this set at all, but if you were hypothetically going to, you'd first be an idiot to do so, but number two, uh, to do this set, you need his specific 97 overall out of position card, so this Earl Campbell free safety, and then any other 97, these typically go for a little under 200k, same even the, with the new ones, Ultimate Legends in general are super cheap now at this point in the year, so you can just go out and buy a lot of these cards but if you want to complete the set 297s then any 393s and any 489s you put all of those into a set and that's going to give you in return the 99 overall Earl Campbell plus another loyalty token so that's another way that you can earn those tokens and a lot of times I don't know how it's going to work now this late in the year with these cards being so inexpensive but you may be able to snipe the different pieces you need to build out ultimate legends and then sell that card on the auction house to make your coins back but get a free loyalty token in return for doing so. I was kind of hoping that we would go out on a bang with maybe a super duper discounted pack from the Ultimate Legend promo, but as far as I can see, there's not really one of those. The True Champion Fantasy Pack is still here for $25. You're guaranteed $199 overall. I've yet to open these up, so I don't know if they refreshed again this Saturday or if mine are just sitting here because I never opened them, but I still don't think, even with rookie premieres and the uh, Red Zone Royale cards, I still don't think these are worth opening up or spending money on. There's a good $25 rookie premiere bundle uh, that if you were going to spend $25 on, you should do it over on that. I can't show it to you because I actually opened it up, and we should have a YouTube short coming very soon with that, so be on the lookout for that. Um, the, you know, you got your other standard offers here, $25 because you 497 plus cards and four more loyalty tokens uh you got a 15 dollar bundle here that's going to give you 193 plus 297 plus and three loyalty tokens again these cards aren't good enough and ultimate legends are so cheap that you shouldn't be spending your money on any of these things so i feel like i'm an idiot for even showing you guys those offers because you shouldn't be paying attention to them at all if you do want to open up the coin packs which are 44,000 coins you get 10 of them every week these are fun to open if you have a lot of coins and if you happen to get like like 91s, 93s, and 95s out of these packs. They're great for building uh, rookie premier cards as well through the rookie premier set exchange. 
in this pack, you're going to get a loyalty token as well every time you open it up. And I think that does it. Of course, the TVP is going to contain uh, the two LTDs that are out today, but TVP has been trashed for many months, so I also don't want to encourage you to spend your training over there as well. And that's it. Pour out a little liquor for the Ultimate Legend promo. It's done. It's a wrap. It's over. And Mutt23 is almost on the way out of here as well. Thank you guys for tuning in. Enjoy your Saturday. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.